1886 novella Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson has been adapted to film and TV countless times. While most were straight-up adaptations of the story, there were a few who decided to go a little crazy with it. Here's five Jekyll and Hyde movies you probably missed. Dr. Black, Mr. Hyde. In 1972, we had Blackula. In 1973, we had Blackenstein. To my knowledge, they never made a black mummy. Next on Exploitation Theater, Blackula, followed by Blackenstein and the Blunch Black of Bloat Your Blame. Woo! Funky. Anyway, in 1976, we did get the exploitation version of Jekyll and Hyde in Dr. Black, Mr. Hyde. Dr. Black, Mr. Hyde was directed by William Crane, and while the film was finished in 1976, it didn't get a wide release until 1979. The movie's about Dr. Henry Pride, played by Bernie Casey. He's working on a serum to cure liver disease. One night in a fit of desperation, he tries the serum on himself. It most certainly does not cure his liver problems, but it does occasionally turn him into a murderous albino monster. Pride turns into Mr. Hyde at night and travels through Los Angeles, murdering pimps and hookers. The movie was influenced by three things. The first, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, obviously. The second was King Kong, and the third was the Tuskegee syphilis experiments from the 1930s. While the movie treats the subject matter fairly seriously, it does come off campy and occasionally silly. Although the movie has a tremendously well-done ending, where Dr. Pride is climbing the Watts Towers in Los Angeles, which is where the King Kong influence comes into play. The movie was shot by future award-winning cinematographer Tak Fujimoto. A year before this, he filmed Death Race 2000 for Roger Corman, and after this, he worked on major films like The Silence of the Lambs, Philadelphia, The Sixth Sense, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The movie was released on DVD in 2011, and it's not that hard to find. It's currently streaming on Tubi and Pluto TV. Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hype Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hype is a 1980 comedy film from director Charles B. Griffith. The movie's about a deformed podiatrist that takes a serum which turns him into the handsome but extremely violent Mr. Hype. Heckle has spent a life being mocked for his looks, so now is Hype. He's a ladies' man. The movie stars Oliver Reed as Heckle and Hype. 20 years before this, he had a minor role in The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll. The pitch for the movie was a joke that was taken seriously. Griffith put together a list of joke titles and ideas to pitch to director Francis Ford Coppola at his annual Christmas party. The pitch was Dr. Feelgood and Mr. Hype, about a hippie who takes a serum that turns him into an ad executive. Griffith was friends with Menachem Golan from Canon Films, who liked the idea and wanted to make it a reality. Griffith agreed to do it, but it was on an extremely shortened timeline. He had four weeks to write the script before filming would begin. The director cranked out a 200-page script that Golan then edited by ripping out the pages he didn't like. The film was greenlit with a $750,000 budget and a four-week shooting schedule. While writing the script, Griffith had actor Dick Van Dyke in mind. Van Dyke was busy at the time, and Golan probably didn't want him anyway, so he went out and hired Oliver Reed instead. Earlier in his career, Reed was one of the most talented and in-demand actors from Great Britain. However, over time, he developed a serious drinking problem and was becoming known for being difficult to work with. He wasn't getting the offers he used to, and so Golan was probably able to hire him at a discount. The movie had all sorts of goofball annex, and the tone was all over the place. Perhaps if the director had more time to fine-tune the script, it may have played out differently. As it was, it would go from serious to silly and back again, sometimes all within the same scene. This is one of the lesser-known films from Canon's catalog. Cannon decided not to release the film into theaters and instead sold it directly to cable. The movie got a Blu-ray release in 2019. It's currently streaming on Amazon Prime and Tubi. Jekyll and Hyde Together Again Jekyll and Hyde Together Again is a 1982 sex comedy from director Jerry Belson. The movie's about Dr. Daniel Jekyll. He's researching a chemical that would cure various illnesses, but he accidentally stumbles upon... Uh... Cocaine. He discovers this mysterious white powder that can turn any man into a party animal. This movie, in case you haven't figured it out, doesn't take itself very seriously. It's a ridiculous Hollywood coke binge film. In case that wasn't completely obvious, the poster calls it a real toot. Ah, oh, the things you could get away with back then. The movie has a few surprise actors in it that would go on to much greater things. 
Bess Armstrong, Tim Thomerson, and Cassandra Peterson, a.k.a. Elvira. She plays the role of Busty Nurse. In early 1981, Hollywood was gearing up for a strike from the Directors Guild. The heads of Paramount saw this coming and wanted to rush some films into production, so when the strike came, they'd have product to put into theaters. They chose a handful of scripts, and this was one of them. The movie was released on October 1st, 1982, and only made about $3.7 million domestically. Not enough to offset the $5 million budget. The movie was restored and released on Blu-ray in 2016. It's not available for streaming, but it is on video on demand. Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde is one of the lesser-known Hammer films. It's about Dr. Henry Jekyll, a very noble doctor who's working on finding cures for the world's diseases. Thinking he may not live long enough to accomplish his goals, he then works to create an elixir that'll give him eternal life. He takes hormones from the cadavers of recently murdered women, and after mixing them with his formula, he becomes Sister Hyde. Sister Hyde is driven by madness, of course, and she murders young women for an endless supply of estrogen. The movie was released on October 17, 1971 in the UK. Despite what would seem like an exploitative theme, it's done very well. While not as beloved or as well-known as the Hammer Dracula films, it shares that same look and feel. In recent years, Universal seemed determined to recreate the Universal Monsters' dark universe, but here we have Hammer doing this almost effortlessly decades ago. This was the third Jekyll and Hyde movie that Hammer did. The previous two were The Ugly Duckling and The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll. I personally enjoy this one the most out of the three. The movie was directed by Roy Ward Baker, who was an understudy of horror master Alfred Hitchcock. As such, the movie feels like a what-if scenario, what it would be like if Hitchcock directed a Hammer film. The movie is heavy on atmosphere, and the backdrop of London with Sister Hyde going around murdering young women feels like a well-done gender-swap Jack the Ripper, which is no surprise because the screenwriter pulled a lot of inspiration from the story of one of the most infamous murderers of all time. The movie was released in 2001 and was restored and re-released on Blu-ray in 2018. The movie is currently streaming on Tubi, Shout TV, and a few other places. If you're a fan of the Hammer Horror films, definitely check this one out. Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde While Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde was a horror film, this version plays out the same scenario for laughs. Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde is a 1995 comedy from director David Price. It's about Dr. Jax, played by Tim Daly. Jax is a chemist working for a perfume company and is in charge of creating new scents. After his great-uncle dies, he discovers he's the great-grandson of Dr. Jekyll. He manages to get Dr. Jekyll's formula, and with the addition of some estrogen, he takes the serum and turns into a woman played by Sean Young. So now he works as Helen Hyde and convinces his bosses he is Dr. Jack's new assistant. The movie shows the goofier side of both actors, who seem to be enjoying the absurdity. The movie hit theaters on August 25th, 1995, and it was a flop. It only pulled in a little over $3 million worldwide, which didn't come close to its $8 million budget. The movie was utilizing some of that early 90s CG. It had that weird rubbery look that worked for the mask in 1994, but not so much here. The movie also starred Lysette Anthony from Krull. In 1991, she was in a movie that was fairly similar to this, Switch. In Switch, a male chauvinist is killed by the women in his life, and so as punishment, he returns to Earth as a woman. Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde was directed by David Price. He fell in love with Lysette Anthony while filming, and shortly afterwards, she left her then-husband and married Price. They were only together for two years before she then divorced him. The movie was nominated for three Razzie Awards, Worst Actress, Worst Remake or Sequel, and Worst Screen Couple. Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde is a funny but very stupid slapstick comedy. The biggest laughs come from when the two characters are transforming into the other at the most inappropriate of times. The movie was released on DVD in 2004. It's not available for streaming, but it is on YouTube. That's five movies based on Jekyll and Hyde. Lots more weirdness next time. Stay tuned.
I feel you in your hands. My heart is in your feet.